have yourself a boyfriend. I do. Oh, he takes me to the movies a lot. No, he never takes me to the movies. <coughs> Miss Mildred Smith. <laughs> That's me. Hi, I'm Lois. I'm your pulmonologist. Oh, I'm going to be performing your spirometry test today. So okay. let's walk this way, okay? Yes, ma'am. did you used to smoke? Oh, I smoked 50 years, about a pack and a half a day. <clears throat> a, a pack and a half a day? That a pack and a half a day for 50 years comes out to about 75 pack years, and that's gonna... <coughs> Excuse me. No problem. <clears throat> that's gonna put you at a much greater risk of COPD, since anything over 70 pack years puts you um, at a risk or is suggestive of COPD. Okay, well let's have you blow into this barometer. You want me to blow into what? Now, honey, I've done a lot of blowing in my day. Oh, okay. You take it from me. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to do that kind of blowing. We're going to blow into the spirometer. Okay? Okay, let's go. Okay, great. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And what this does is it's a pulmonary function test, and it will be measuring your lung function. <laughs> Exactly. So, specifically the measurement of the amount or the speed of air that can be inhaled and exhaled by you. This is helpful in diagnosing certain pulmonary diseases such as asthma, cystic fibrosis, and COPD. So, what I'll need you to do is stand up. I'll need you to place this right by your mouth here. And you're going to take a deep breath in, place your lips right around here, and you're going to use your diaphragm and blow out as hard as you can and as long as you can and bend all the way forward like this into the spirometer, okay? Uh, yeah, kind of. Well, you want me to do it now? Yeah, okay, hold on one second. Okay, place it here. Deep breath in, there we go. There we go. Danielle Johnson? Hi. Hi. I'm Lois. I'm going to take you back for your pulmonary function test, okay? okay. Let's walk on this way. Danielle, we're going to test your lung capacity today. Can you tell me if you've been having any problems lately? Because you look like a healthy individual. Uh, my coach was concerned that I might have asthma because on and off the field I've been having trouble breathing. Okay. All right. And um, what kind of sports do you play? Soccer. All right. Great. All right. So go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. Every bit of air out. Great, wonderful. All right, let's check your reading.
boy P. Miller, DJ AJ on yeah, the track. Baby. Yeah. It is what it is. One time. You choking and hacking, trying to get your mucus right, but you can't breathe out because your lungs so tight. They're busted, cracked, and falling apart, and you can't walk without your old two cart. It's a matter of fact that you're going to die soon. You shouldn't have listened to that Joe Camel cartoon. Smoking, wheezing, always fighting for air. Look on the pack, man. The warning's right there. You've had that cough for the past three months. Most people hitting home runs. You hitting bunts. Don't front. I know it's been two years. You taking a long walk down a short pier. The FDC is straight looking a tragedy. If you can't blow a bum, you're a casualty. You're smoking, drinking at the local cantina, but the only thing you picked up was your girl emphysema. Hola. I didn't miss opportunity to talk to you about a serious issue. Hey, Mr. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is the fourth leading cause of death in America and is predicted to be the third by 2020. So don't smoke. That's right. It's the itis, the chronic bronchitis. Here's a cigarette. Come on, man, just try it. Don't fight it. Just go ahead and light it. This disease, haha, <laughs> is so delighted. So you're sleeping, propped up on seven pillows. Your chances of making it keep dropping down to zero. You're breathing hard, like your lungs grew an afro. It's no wonder that your FEV's so low. We took the FEV over the FBC, and it looks like you're going down in history. It's no mystery how things got this way. You've been smoking since your ninth birthday. From the rest of your life, it's an O2 device. But it won't be long before you're laid up on ice, out of sight. Out of mind is what you said when they showed you the black lung, you was already dead. Mm. Coughing, choking, yeah, you got a disease. Go ahead and smoke as much as you please. It ain't nothing but a little COPD. Yeah, COPD. 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 COPD.